Okay, I got all of my pieces laid down. And I think all the extra embellishments added that I'm going to add. So I'm going to show you my finished canvas. And this is it. Um, I'm going to bring it a little closer so you can see a little more detail in just a minute. But I want to talk to you about what we did. So we made the dress form on the Cricut. And we um, used the sticky back canvas and the chipboard. We cut out the bird cage and we embossed it and used Distress Stain to ink it up. Added some lace and we inked the sticky back canvas that's on the chipboard to give it the aged look. We embossed the wings and we colored it with Distress Stains and then finger rubbings. Um, we um, tied the ribbon, added the lace. And I, on the canvas, I used the um, Tim Holtz masks, the gears, to give the background. And then we used sprocket gears and game spinners, and then some of the chipboard cuts from Tim's gears die. And I used a metal corner here, Tim Holtz corner there. Um, on the canvas, I had inked the edges with... Uh, frayed burlap and a little bit of walnut stain as well and then I went around the edges of it with the antique linen and the walnut stain um, distress stains to um, create like the borders so that's the completed canvas this is a surprise for somebody um, that I'll be sending it out to and I really hope she likes it but let me show you a little closer so you can see the details a little better but you can see the background where I glimmer misted using the masks and the gears and then you can see the sticky back canvas that we inked and the wings it was embossed with a cuddle bug folder the metal corner Rocket gears and game spinners, the chipboard pieces, and I used the texture hammer on that. Finger rubbins, heat embossing, lots of different techniques used on this. I really, really, really like it. I hope she really likes it. I know she likes steampunk, so I think she'll really like this. And she deserves it. That's the other thing. So anyway, um, this is coming to somebody's mailbox. Um, I hope you like it. Um, I hope this tutorial helped you all. Um, don't be afraid to try different stuff, to mix different medias and techniques together. It's art. It's fun. It's not wrong. Oh, I meant to tell you, the other thing I did was I took one of these little glass bottles with a cork and it has the little... Um, I hook on the top and I put some let me see if it'll focus on them there you go some little gears and watch pieces they're loose in there I did um, glue down the bottle just a little bit so it isn't all crazy but the gears and stuff still move in there I thought that was a cute little touch but anyway thanks for watching everybody if you have any questions just let me know have a great weekend. Bye.